okay our class is going to be based on reading labeling a diagram in this we are going to cover a very important part of reading that is called as labeling a diagram so let us see how does it work ab labeling a diagram mein strategy follow karenge hum strategy hogi hamare keywords locate karna and one area mein answer nikalne keywords samjhaunga abhi locate karna samjhata hu aur one area mein samjhata hu kaise karna dekho jaise ye mere questions hain और ये पैसेज है मेरा लेट मी मार्क दिस फॉर योर बेटर विजुअलाइजेशन ये मेरा पैसेज है और ये मेरे क्वेश्चंस इन सब को मैंने ढूंढना है यहां से आई हैव टू फिगर इट आउट फॉर मी यहां से मैंने ढूंढना तो होगा क्या पहले मेरे को ये जगह ढूंढनी पड़ेगी ये जगह कहां पे है इसके लिए मुझे की ढूंढने पड़ेंगे क्या होते हैं सो आई जस्ट टीच यू हाउ टू डू तीन तरह के क्वेश्चन कराऊंगा वन इज कॉल्ड डायरेक्ट लेबलिंग सेकंड इज कॉल्ड एज इनडायरेक्ट लेबलिंग एंड थर्ड इज कॉल्ड एज फ्लो चार्ट तीनों बहुत जरूरी हैं, जरूर आते हैं इसमें हंड्रेड परसेंट मार्क्स आते हैं आप सबके अगर आपको समझ आ जाए मैंने करना कैसे हंड्रेड परसेंट मार्क्स है तो ये देखिए जी ये मेरा पहला बार है तो इसमें ना मेरे की कौन कौन से हैं उसे मैं मार्क करने वाला हूँ मेरा की है स्नो गन दिस इज द की वर्ड एयर बिलो जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस स्नो Dashar form. Water is atomized into something. Water and dash air. So, ये मेरे की वर्ड्स आ. अब यहाँ पे ना air की quality आएगी. We have to figure out the quality of the air. Water is atomized into something. यहाँ पे एक noun आएगा. Into something है ना तो into noun आएगा ये. Dashar form. So here you can expect a plural coming up. Why a plural? Because there is R given there. R dash R form. So plural is going to come here. So now I know what is happening. So what I'll do? I'll go to the passage. But this is the second type. This is called indirect labeling. So now what I'm going to do here? Indirect labeling. These are the things which are given here. So I have to find out only these six things. and i have to put them in these three blanks blank 1 blank 2 and blank 3 so this is how it's going to go third type dekhunga ye mera ek flow chart hai so i have to do three things and find out from the passage flow chart ke liye ye teen different types hain abhi is type mein pata hai kya hota hai ek is type mein yahan pe na kabhi kabhi sometimes wording is given here the alphabets are given here a B, C, ये भी होते हैं सो यू हैव टू बी एक्सट्रीमली केयरफुल वेन यू ट्रांसफर दी आंसर सो सपोज आपका आंसर फ्रेंच है और वहां लिखा है ए लिखना है आपने आप फ्रेंच लिखा था तो आपका आंसर डेफिनेटली गलत हो जाएगा सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल इन दिस बट इस केस में मेरे को आंसर खाली वर्ड उठा के ही डालने हैं ओके सो लेट एस गो टू आर नेक्स्ट थिंग सो पैसेज वन पे चलेंगे सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल की पैसेज वन देख लीजिए तो ये मैंने आपको समझा दिया है और ये है मेरा पैसेज वन सो हियर आई रिक्वायर एज यूजुअल सम वॉलंटियर्स सो रियांका इज देयर रियांका जस्ट रीड इट सो द स्नो गन वर्क वेरी डिफरेंटली फ्रॉम अ नेचुरल वेदर सिस्टम बट इट अकम्पलिशेस एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग द डिवाइस बेसिकली वर्क्स बाय कंबाइनिंग वाटर एंड एयर टू डिफरेंट हॉर्सेस आर अटैच्ड टू द गन one leading from a water pumping station which pumps water up from a lake or a reservoir and the other leading from an air compressor when the compressed air passes through the hose into the gun it atomizes the water that is it disrupts the stream so that the water split up into tiny droplets the droplets are then blown out of the gun and if the outside temperature is below 0 degree celsius ice crystals will form and will then make snow flakes in the same way as natural snow wonderful abhi pata hai problem kya isme aati hai we are unable to find out hai kya answer hi samajh mein nahi aata so what i'm going to do i'm going to fix you up for this how do we fix you up first of all maine aapko diagram samjha diye how the diagram is working so let us see i'll be sharing my screen now in two parts here we are so now you people have both the things you have a diagram in front of you and you have a passage in front of you 
So this is the thing that you have to find out. These three things you need to find out. So I'll give you one minute time to find out what kind of air is being used. What is water atomized into? And dash are formed. What is dash are formed? What is the plural that we're going to use here? I'll give you one minute time. Your time starts now. Start finding out. Okay, so we are done. So now is the turn for Jyoti Chhabra. Jyoti, can you tell me the first answer? What kind of air is required? Compressed air. Wonderful. So you found out when compressed air passes through the hose. So you found out that this air was already there. So the adjective compressed comes here. Am I right? Right. right. Great. So this water is, is uh, atomized into something. This is what? academic reading? Uh, it is common for both. Okay. It is passage three. Okay. Okay. Uh, water is atomized into something. What is water atomized into? Tiny droplets. It is tiny droplets. Okay. So tiny now, where are they? Water splits into tiny droplets. Great. So your answer to this question is tiny Droplet. and droplets. So now water is atomized into tiny droplets. So we find it here. Can you tell me the third answer, dash or form? Ice crystals. Or can you write snowflakes also? No. Why not? I want a justification. Why not? Uh, it is clearly mentioned that ice crystals will form and then and will then make snowflakes in the Wonderful. same way. Wonderful. Wonderful. So basically, we are talking about ice crystals here. Are At least formed. Snow, uh, snow is written uh, below the ice uh, crystals. So, yes. So, so then the answer it says would be ice crystals. No, ice snow crystals. Snow. And this leads to, it leads to what? And will then make snowflakes in the same play as natural. So dash are formed. So immediately when it's blown out, when it is blown out of the gun and the air temperature is zero degrees Celsius, air crystal, ice crystals will be formed. Very well done, Jyoti. Now, I'm Thank going to show you a keyword here. The keyword is zero degrees Celsius. Remember this keyword. These are very important, tricky words here. The moment you come to know, I zero degree hai yahan pe, I can easily track that zero degree anywhere. The moment I track that zero degree, I can find out that answer mere is paragraph ke andar hoonge. This is called as locating. So the moment we find out some number, any kind of number, we can start locating them. Are we clear? Very easy trick. Very yes. works all the time. Be very careful about it. Open your eyes and see it. It's a very useful trick. Okay. Our next person is Anshu Tinjan. Anshu, you are going to be explaining me the next diagram. Okay. So these are the three answers of this one. Compressed air, tiny droplets, and ice crystals. And we go to passage number two now. In passage number two, this is the diagram. So, Anshu, please explain me what is written here. So, I have to read the title. Yes, please. Keep speaking. It's labeled with tunnels on the diagram below using words from the box. All right. Write your answers in boxes six to eight on your answer sheet. Okay, so here he is talking about a cow pack or a cow dung. And uh, we see approximate depth in CMS. What is CMS, Anshu? Centimeters. Centimeters, perfectly fine. So we call this as centimeters. Okay, below the surface. So he has measured here 0 centimeter, 10 centimeters, 20 and 30 centimeters. And these are the types of dung beetle types are there. So can you just speak out the dung beetle types which we have here? French. Yeah. Italian. Yeah. Uh, Indian native. Spanish. Yeah. 
skin south african ball roller perfectly fine so now if you see this there are four words here south african ball roller there are four words here but generally what happens three is the upper limit but kyunki yahan pe diya hai ye and we have to choose it from here only so we have to pick up this and upar likha hai write your answers and where do we have to find we have to find using the words from the box so this is again a very tricky question it is called as a trick question so sixth number beetle kaun si hogi humne wo dhoondna hai seventh kaun si hogi wo dhoondna hai and eighth kaun si hogi ye dhoondna hai anshu can you do some measurements here can you tell me sixth beetle highest kahan tak jati hai this one goes up to 25 or 28 something all right and what about eighth number where does it go to uh up to 10 up to 10. 10 and what about the seventh one where does that go more than 30, 30. it goes beyond 30 it goes beyond 30 so these are my trick words so let us see what is the passage so anshu read it loudly what is the passage loudly okay dung beetles work from the inside of the pack so they are sheltered from predators such as birds and foxes most species burrow into the soil and bury dung in tunnels directly underneath the packs which are hollowed into from within some large species originated from france ex excavate tunnels to a depth of approximately 30 cm below the dung tunnel dung pack these beetles make sausage shaped group grow chambers along the tunnels okay the shallowest tunnel belong to a much smaller spanish species that burrows dung in chambers and hang like fruit from the branches of a pear tree south african beetles dig narrow tunnels of approximately 20 cm below the surface of the pack some surface dwelling beetles including a south african species cut perfectly shaped walls from the pack which are rolled away and attached to the bases of plants wonderful I, I, i can find the answers that it's easy can you find the answers yeah almost i think i think almost all of them yeah, yeah. so the more see so you know what is the trick to the whole thing the trick is you should read the questions carefully yes and do some calculations on the questions if you do some calculations yahan pe kya aayega adjective aayega adverb aayega plural aayega singular aayega so what we can do we can connect the things very easily and it becomes a very simple thing to handle so let us see the passage ye passage aa gaya hamara and you were able to find out very easily ki france ki jo hai wo kaun si hai spanish kaun si hai aur south african kaun si hai So now Anshu is going to tell France कौन सा है, Spanish कौन सा, South African कौन से हैं। मैंने mark तो कर दिया as a keyword। अब बताइए कौन कौन से कहाँ पे हैं। I'll find the sixth one is South African। uh, So let me mark it for you। The sixth one is South African, so it goes here। All right। Next one। No, I think I have done a mistake। Wait a second। Any time I thought. Read, read it again. Stick. Read it again. It's approximately thirty centimeters. I think. Wait a second. This is going to be a problem. Don't yeah. worry. Learn how to rule it out. इसको सीखो कैसे rule out करते हैं. सबसे छोटी tunnels कौन बनाता है? सबसे छोटी. Spanish one. I think the eighth one is Spanish. Okay. So we simply pick up this and we go to eighth and we put them here. Okay. ये तो हो गई अब नेक्स्ट बताओ सबसे लंबी टनल किसके पास है फ्रेंच बिकॉज इफ वी कैन पुट दर्ड फ्रांस हियर वी हैव टू यूज दर्ड फ्रेंच हियर Because the beetles who are from France are called as French beetles. 
Okay. And sixth one, you said South African. And the eighth one, you said is Spanish. Am I right, Anshu? Yes. Okay. So do you think you are correct? I have a doubt. Because you have a doubt. I know you have a doubt. Jyoti, let's see your view. Jyoti, what is your view about it? I think they are right. Uh, so you feel Anshu is right? Yes, I believe so. Okay. Now, let me clear up one word with you. Anshu, this is for you and this is for everybody else who is sitting here. Shallowest is Spanish. So what do we do? Sometimes we write the same things. We write it down like this. This is Spanish. It's gone. Now the second one is the longest one. We don't know. But here you see the word approximately is given here. Approximately. And the third again approximately is given here. So now if I look at this one. This one. So this is very shady, you know. It is a uh, little less than 20 also, little more than 20 also. So the average comes out to be 20. Anshu, am I right? Yes. So if I look at this one, the next one, again, the word approximately is given here. But again, this is more than that. But we do not have any beetle which says more than that. So again, we have to say approximate. Approximate word has to be used here. So approximately is fine. Again, you read this. He says approximate depth in centimeters below the surface. So he is not talking about exact thing. He is talking about approximate things. So these are my three answers to this. So let us go to passage number three. So I want one more volunteer if it's there. So Riyanka, you are there. Riyanka, can you do yes, the third sir. one? Okay, yeah. why don't you girls do all the three together, the last one, because it's going to be pretty tricky. So let's see the last one. And last one is like craziness. So let us see what is it. It's a medical topic. Now, here we are. And we have no idea about what is the meaning of caloric restriction mimetic works. The pronunciation of this is mimetic. Mimetic. It is not mimetic. It is mimetic. Mimetic works. Mimetic ka matlab hota hai. It comes from mime. Mime ka matlab hai copy. Yeah, it's mimic. Like, it's mimic, exactly. Mime or mimic, the word is copy. And so when we say mimetic, it means uh, our body is copying an artificial process or artificial process is used to copy our body. Both the ways we can talk about it. And he's talking about caloric restriction. Now, what is the meaning of caloric? This comes from the word called as calories. Now, what is the meaning of the word calorie? Heat produced or the energy produced when we eat something. Jab hum kuch khate hain, jo energy produced hoti hai, that is called as calories burned. If you must have heard this word very commonly, ek samose mein 80 calories hoti hai, gulab jamun mein uh, 200 calories hoti hai. So the doctors keep on talking this typical language of calories. So this whole article is going to be based on that. But the article ko samajna zaruri, that is the problem. So understand what is written here. So we have CR, CR mimetic. So we don't know what is CR. But if we read it carefully, it is caloric restriction. Isko isne CR mein bana diya hai. Now I have no clue about ATP. So, I have to find out what is ATP. What is ATP? So, pehle CR Mimetic says, less dash is processed. Koi cheez kam process ho rahi. Production of ATP is decreased. ATP ki production decrease ho rahi hai. Now, we have two theories for it. Theory number one and theory number two. Obviously, the passage will also be divided like this. So passage ki shakal aisi hogi hamari. This is going to be a passage. Iske upar wala part will be common. And niche iske do parts honge called as theory 1 and theory 2. And this is the passage that we have to find out. This is a common factor. Ye aapko flow chart ko dekhe idea ho jata. So let us see theory number 1. Cells less damaged by disease because fewer something is emitted. Kam nikal rahi hai kuch cheez hai. 
तो लेस सेल्स आर डैमेज अब देखते हैं थ्योरी नंबर टू थ्योरी नंबर टू कहती है सेल्स फोकस ऑन समथिंग बिकॉज फूड इज इन शॉर्ट सप्लाई सेल्स किसी चीज पे फोकस करेंगे क्योंकि जो हमारा फूड है वो कम है ओके सो अब हम पैसेज को देखते हैं वॉट इज द पैसेज तो ये पैसेज आ गया सो लेट एस सी हु इज गोन टू रीड इट नाउ ज्योति कैन यू रीड दिस पैसेज लाउडली प्लीज या श्योर cells use the glucose from food to generate atp <coughs> the molecule that powers many activities in the body by limiting food intake caloric restriction minimizes the amount of glucose entering cells and decreases atp generation when two dg is administered to animals that eat normally glucose reaches cells in abundance but the drug prevents most of it from being processed and thus reduces atp synthesis researchers have proposed several explanation for why interruption of glucose processing and atp production might retard aging one possibility relates to atp making machineries emission of free radicals which are thought to contribute to aging and to such age related diseases as cancer by damaging cells reduce operation of the machinery should limit their production and thereby constrain the damage another hypothesis suggests that decreased processing of glucose could indicate to cells that food is scarce even if it isn't and induce them to shift into an anti-aging mode that emphasizes preservation of the organism over such luxuries as growth and reproduction excellent very well done jyoti all right so now uh, jyoti can you tell me the meaning of atp I think ATP is a molecule that powers many activities in the body. इसका पूरा नाम क्या है ATP का? What is the full name of ATP? Adenosine uh, triphosphate. Very good. It's adenosine triphosphate uh-huh. that is called as ATP. Very well done. So now, if you see ATP, we understand this is the meaning. But हमें क्या करना है इससे कुछ नहीं करना. We don't care for this. What we care for is ATP. okay but again we know what does it mean so now if you look at this jyoti can you tell me ya theory number 1 kahan pe hai where is theory number 1 kaun si line mein hogi theory number 1 so now read this one possibility so we have the word theory here as possibility so another theory is here another hypothesis ab dekhiye jaise maine aapko predict karke bataya tha so we have this one as theory number 1 i am marking this ye bahut mushkil hai again i am telling you and this is the one that i have marked now as theory number 2 so jyoti are we clear with this yes so this becomes the common factor this becomes theory number 1 t1 likh dete hain isko and this becomes t2 That is theory number two. So, ये मेरा बन गया एक idea on how the passage is formatted. Many times हम लोग सोचते भी नहीं हैं कि passage की formation जो है वो depend करती है उस बनाया कैसे हुए. ऊपर common factors दिए हैं, नीचे उसके दो parts किए हुए हैं. We can come to know when we read the questions. So अपनी आंखें खोल के reading किया करो. it is reading is the easiest part of ielts trust me all you need to do is just one thing be careful when you read just be careful when you read that's the only thing that has asked from you so i am going to go to our next part and let us see what is the answer so i am going to share this with you just a second let me share this with you ye raha ji side by side okay so now i have three people here with me one is riyanka one is jyoti and one is anshu i am giving you one or two minutes take your time and find the answers and tell me find the answers and tell me i know it is going to be tough but try less dash is processed ye common area mein hoga mera because this is in the common area so it is going to be in the common area this is going to be the common area remember this Till one possibility, ये सारा कुछ मेरा इस कॉमन एरिया में है यहां पर मैंने ढूंढना है क्या चीज कम प्रोसेस हो रही है क्या चीज कम प्रोसेस हो रही है 
खाली एक आंसर निकाल के दिखा दीजिए सो रियांका ज्योति एंड अंशु कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज लेस दैट इज बींग प्रोसेस्ड नो हम अमाउंट ऑफ ग्लूकोज नहीं ना लिखेंगे यहाँ पे क्या लिखेंगे यहाँ ग्लूकोज सो वी विल राइट ग्लूकोज सो हियर वी हैव ग्लूकोज एज दी आंसर सो वी हैव ग्लूकोज कमिंग हियर ओके सो नाउ दिस वन थ्योरी नंबर वन नो वेट 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 वील जस्ट फिक्स इट आप इट इज वेरी ट्रिकी so i have to teach you this because i don't want mistakes in the real exam uh so pehle na main is area ko mark kar lunga aise karke jaise doctors mark karte hai na surgery karne se pehle to hamesha us area ko mark kar liya karo okay so now theory number 1 is cells less damaged by disease because fewer dash are emitted so something which is emitted is less so what is less now Radicals, I don't know. Three radicals. No, you have to tell me. I don't know. I'll answer. नहीं चलेगा. You have to find <laughs> out and tell me. हाँ जी बोलो. Maybe it is free radicals. Maybe नहीं पक्का बोलो. The free radicals. Right? Free radicals को lock कर रहा हूँ मैं. So here we have free radicals here, and it goes there. Free radicals. Now we go to the next part called as the third part. तो मैं इसको मार्क करता हूं पहले अनदर हाइपोथिस सो लेट मी आस्क यू फर्स्ट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ हाइपोथिस एनी वन ओके नेहा वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ हाइपोथिस Uh, cells cells focus focus on on what? Sir, cell focus on anti -aging. Uh, okay, the word is not anti -aging, it's pronounced as anti -aging. Anti -aging. Anti -aging, okay? yeah. और जब भी आप टी को प्रोनाउंस करते हो ना तो टी मत बोला करो हल्का सा ट की आवाज आती है इसमें टी एंटा एजिंग एंटा एजिंग ओके सो इट गिवस यू वेरी नाइस ब्यूटिफुल एक्सेंट वेन यू टॉक वेन यू टॉक सो दैट इज हाउ यू से वेन यू टॉक Yeah, uh, definitely. Sure. Yeah, it is very nice to have ex exact English pronunciation. Okay, so your answer is not correct. It is not anti-aging. It is something it's else. The preservation of organism. I itself focus on preservation. Preservation. Okay, so it is not preservation. 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 Okay, so we have this as uh, you want to say anti-aging or preservation. Preservation. Okay, so cells focus on something. In two, me say, my answer. Which one is right? Let's see. So let us so read this understand. again. Yeah. Another hypothesis suggests that decreased processing of glucose could indicate to cells that food is scarce or scarce, or uh, we have different pronunciations for this word also, even if it isn't, and induce them to shift to an anti-aging mode. so the cells focus on anti aging mode that emphasizes something of the organisms over the luxuries as growth and reproduction so focus on the focus changes to preservation okay so that is perfectly right so we have these three answers as this uska jo mode hai wo hai anti aging ka usme emphasize kis pe karta hai focus तो जो मेरा एम्फोसिस वर्ड है वो फोकस वर्ड है तो यहाँ पे वर्ड्स को देखना बहुत जरूरी होता है ये सारी रीडिंग ना खेल है इट्स अ गेम रिमेंबर दिस गेम एंड दिस गेम इज ओनली बेस्ड ऑन वन थिंग वो कैबिलरी द मोमेंट योर वो कैबिलरी इज गुड योर रीडिंग बिकम्स ग्रेट एब्सोल्युटली ग्रेट सो लेट मी चेक योर आंसर नाउ सो द आंसर टू द फर्स्ट पैसेज व tiny uh, compressed tiny droplets and ice crystals yahan pe maine snowflakes pe likha hai jaan boojh ke batane ke liye ki ye answer mera galat hai 
ये आंसर नहीं होगा जिन्होंने स्नो फिलेक्स लिखा है वो आंसर आपका गलत है दैट इज रॉन्ग सेकेंड वन वॉज साउथ अफ्रीकन फ्रेंच एंड स्पेनिश दीज वर दीटल्स दैट वर देयर एंड दर्ड वन इज ग्लूकोज फ्री रेडिकल्स एंड प्रिजर्वेशन सो दीज आर माई आंसर टू नंबर थर्ड सो विद दिस वी कम टू दी एंड ऑफ द सेशन